Yes. Okay. Uh, this is the route description for Leg 4, which departs checkpoint 3, which is at the village green opposite Forest Designs, and you're going to continue on the start by going down the Zero point two miles at the end of the road. Keep on going straight ahead to the left of the Cachet's Health Club through a car park, and there's a little gap in the hedge in the bushes. So uh, look for the little gap in the bushes. You come out onto a driveway which says farm shop and cafe uh, unless you want to get a stop and get something to drink at the farm shop uh, it's, uh, it's closed on a Sunday so no good but go straight ahead you'll see the VGW telling you to go straight ahead and the VGW Vanguard Way continues on a single narrow skinny track through some overgrown bushes we are You've come out of the single track, you come onto a road, or well, it's more of a country, country uh, farm track. You want to turn right. This is where we leave the Vanguard Way. So we're turning right to continue along the road shortly. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so we're going to continue along the Vanguard Way. No, sorry. <laughs> We're going to leave the Vanguard Way and continue along this farm farm driveway and we shortly join on to the landscape trail in about three, four hundred metres. 1.39 miles, you reach the end of the settled driveway and you've got a stile straight in front of you. you want to cross the stile if you look on the desk. So we're now going to follow the High World Landscape Trail all the way back to Withingham Church to Checkpoint 4, which was Checkpoint 1. 1.64 miles, you go through a farm gate, coming up on top of this crest of a hill that you get in the walls. Point six nine miles. You've followed the uh, trail. It's, it's nicely waymarked for you with uh, posts, signposts, and the discs. You've just into the campground. It's a way on your right. Uh, you want to go straight ahead. You'll pass a barbecue fireplace through a clump of trees, and you're going to go directly across a, uh, a field. It's a you can just see the narrow track across the field. It's just been ploughed. Uh, so don't follow the gravel path round to the right. You want to go straight ahead across the field. A um, marker post with High World Landscape Trail disc would be really useful here. Of course. Yeah. 3.0 miles, 3.00 miles. You come from that field through a little hedgeway. You cross a driveway and you'll see the gate. It's, a, it's an interesting one. It's a gate on top of a stile. <laughs> so you're going through a gate and over a stile at the same time and then you'll see the marker post that tells you to veer to the left so gently to the left so you're going across the field and you can see the stile on the other side of the field so a diagonal across the field 3.11 miles you've gone through the next gate or over the stile if the gate's closed come to the next field and you want to veer slightly to the right the path is obvious, it goes straight ahead, gently to the right, across the field. Okay, 3.28 miles, you've followed that obvious path across the field. When you get to the other side, do not go through the gate. If you look to the left, you'll see a stile. A stile hidden underneath some trees. So you want to, not through the gate, go left at the corner of the field. 
to the stile and over the stile and immediately turn sharp right after you've crossed the stile. We'd need a uh, high wheeled landscape trail disc here as there's not one on the stile. Three point eight two miles. You have uh, gone up a stile. You're crossing the forest way cycle path. This is a cycle path forest way. Go straight across it. Down the other side. Cross another stile and head into Hartfield. Four point one four miles. You've now entered Hartfield. You've just gone past the tennis courts. Go through a stile, and you're going to turn a gentle right. So you come out onto the road, cross the road, uh, and you've got the anchor in in front of you. So you want to turn right, well, directly across the road, go slightly right, and then you're going to turn left, up past the inn, and you're going to go up uh, Church Street, up the little side road called Church Street. It's called the... We're on the Vanguard, here we go, and if you look on the left, you'll see a sign saying High Wheeled Landscape Trail, directly in front of the Anchor, the Anchor Pub. 4.25 miles, you're directly beside the church, Hartfield Church, you'll see a finger post, so you want to turn right, up three or four brick steps, it's signposted High Wheeled Landscape Trail, with it. and we're heading to Okay, 4.74 miles, you've uh, come down a farm track, you go through an empty gate, you want to stay on the left of the field, there is an arrow, world way, uh, sorry not world way, landscape trail arrow, but you want to stay on the left, through the gate, the left of the field, you can just stay next to the hedge. 4.97 miles, you've crossed that field, you sort of stayed to the left of it, go through a kissing gate, no it's not, it's just an ordinary gate, you cross a stone bridge and then five metres after the stone bridge you turn a sharp left, which isn't marked so we would need a, a marker post with a landscape trail disc would be useful here, sharp left through an overgrown narrow track. 5.31 miles, you squeeze through some Lovely ferns through a narrow bit of track through the ferns, get to a stile and then you come out onto the farm track. Uh, the seal, it's not a farm track, it's a sealed driveway which you were at shortly after checkpoint one, Withiam Church. We're now about 250 metres from Withiam Church. We turn left to follow the farm track, sorry, the sealed driveway the tarmac drive down to checkpoint 4 which is at back at Withiam Church. 5.51 miles yeah, back at Withiam Church at the checkpoint so that is the end of League 4 uh, and enjoy a drink or something to eat.